We may be thinking about spring cleaning our homes, but have you considered spring cleaning your life? Decluttering expert Rachel King is with us today. Morning, Rachel. Good morning. Now, we're all guilty of having a bit of clutter, accumulating stuff. How does it affect yeah. our state of mind? Well, I think having too much stuff unleashes a cocktail of emotional responses. Um, <laughs> we get stressed by just seeing all these undone jobs around us. We can feel guilty about purchases we've made that we shouldn't have or that were a waste of money. And we get distracted and unfocused and unproductive. So yeah, there's certainly an effect on the state of your mind. All of those things are ringing, really resonating with me, <laughs> shall we say. I would be a dream client for you to have. You'd come in and go, where do I start? So where do we start? Well, I think at the change of seasons, uh, your wardrobe's a great place to start. We've just had winter. You can Now's the time to haul out that winter wardrobe and go critically through each item and work out what things you actually haven't worn and what you should be getting rid of. Um, and I think if you do a good job of your wardrobe, it might just motivate you to do the rest of your house. You never know. Yeah, that's true. What about drawers? I find drawers like there's that drawer in the house which has got all the dead batteries and old Nokia phones Yeah, in it. don't start there because you'll get totally overwhelmed. The oh. wardrobe, it's a little bit more systematic. You kind of know what you've worn, what you haven't worn. You know what your winter clothes are that can go away. Save that drawer till you're kind of on a roll. So that's where I went wrong. I started with the yeah. drawer and then I, there was a big pile of cords, charges for things. I, like, I don't even know what they belong to. Yeah, no. And so Save I left them those. sitting in that pile. Yeah, leave those for your husband. To so, deal with, so what are some good storage solutions then? Well, I think the number one thing with storage is to get rid of most of your stuff first. If you're trying to organise chaos, you will never get organised. So once you've done that declutter, then your baskets and your boxes and containers are a great option. Um, There's some ones on screen now. There are, great. yeah. So I think in a wardrobe, you might use a basket for accessories or for your old your winter clothes you're not wearing. Um, in kids' rooms, they're great for categorising different toys so they know where to go. And right. I mean, even in your laundry, you might have a, a basket for your electronics and your batteries and bits and pieces, your wires, that you don't know where else they're supposed to go. So. Four baskets, maybe, for the old <laughs> handspring visor or yeah, the no, palm pilots be, from 1937. They should be in the bin. They should be in the bin. They should be in the bin. So, so what are some good habits then that we can get into to avoid the clutter? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the best habit begins at the shops. And I think, for me, a great way to think of that was when I was going to buy something new or when I am going to buy something new to consider that I'm going to have to declutter it one day and decide whether you really, really want to own that thing. And um, a movie, The True Cost, if you haven't seen it, is a must watch. It's very compelling on what our spending is doing to the planet. So I think by um, thinking about our spending wisely, we're influencing other human beings and also positively improving our own lives. The true cost, that's called. Cool. Yeah, the I have true to check cost. that one out. Yep, My mum's got a great idea. When she buys a new handbag, she has a rule that she has to get rid of a handbag. Yep. So I'm doing very well yep. with mum's old oh, bags, <laughs> yeah. actually. But you need to get rid of one for each one. I gets, probably yeah. do. So if, we, if we're if we doing a mental stock take on our lives and everything, I mean, how do we streamline everything? How do we streamline our schedules and our commitments to make things a bit cleaner? Mm. Well, I think once you've done the declutter of your space, it often motivates you to think about what you've jammed into your schedule. And a lot of us jam in the shoulds and the to's and the must do's and if we can look critically at each thing in our schedule and, and assess whether it's something that we love to do or something that's truly useful and get rid of the rest. It sounds so easy when you're discussing it like that but I really <laughs> I struggle with, with decluttering anything. Uh, is, there, is there one handy hint that, you, hint that you can leave me with that's going to really help me kickstart everything? Well, I think start with your physical space. Just choose your easiest thing. Maybe start in your bathroom cupboard and get rid of some expired cosmetics. Start easy and go from there. <laughs> you haven't seen my bathroom cupboard. <laughs> I think I need you around in my house. Stat. No, I'm too embarrassed actually to have you around in my house. I think I could almost be on the programme Hoarders. Almost. Not quite Maybe there, we'll but... feature that next yeah. time. I'll come back. And do a Rachel, thank you so much. Uh, great advice. For more tips and ideas, you can check out Rachel's Life Edit website.